What's going on everybody? Got a real quick Swift tutorial for you today and that is how to show the Mail Compose view controller when you want your users to be able to email something. Now, the example we're gonna use today, and this is a common one, is this is how some apps uh, email support. So what we're gonna do, as you can see on the screen here, when we press this email support button, you're gonna see the Mail Compose view controller slide up and with some pre-filled information already, uh, which we can control. So this is a way, again, for your users to quickly email something without ever leaving your app. Let's get to it. And as always, a quick rundown of the starter project just to give you some context. And the project is linked in the description if you wanna download it to check it out. Uh, just a UI image view and a button. That's it, nothing crazy here. Uh, as always, you, if you see my videos, I do this a lot, this essay button that just gives me rounded corners. All that styling is there. And then our view controller, uh, literally nothing but an IB action for that uh, email button. Because again, when we tap that button, we're gonna slide up the Mail Compose view controller and that'll be that. Let's dive into some code. Uh, so the first thing we need to do is import messages UI. Uh, that is what you need to show this view controller. So let's write out the function that's actually gonna show the mail composer here. A uh, couple returns now, I'll scroll up for you here. So func uh, show mail composer. And then uh, let's go ahead and call that here before we forget, I always forget that. And real quick piece of advice here, uh, this needs to be, to be ran on a device. So. This mail composer, it acts a little wonky on the uh, on the simulator. So make sure you're running this on your actual device to test this to make sure it is working. So what we're gonna do in this function is create that mail compose view controller, but there's a very important thing we have to do first is we have to check to make sure your device can send mail. So let's check for that with a guard statement. So we're gonna guard uh, MF mail compose view controller here. Uh, dot can send mail, and this is a Boolean here. Uh, if you wanna dive into the documentation, go to option, click it. And you'll see here, uh, it says returns a Boolean indicating whether the current device is able to send mail. In the discussion part it says, you should call this method before attempting to display the mail composition interface. Uh, if it returns false, you must not display the, the case. So that is why we're going with a guard statement here so we can uh, return out uh, easily. Else, we wanna let the user know what's going on. So uh, show alert uh, informing the user. And then obviously we need to return. That's what Xcode is yelling at us for with our guard statement. So we're just checking to make sure the device can send mail. If we can't, we're just showing an error and returning. Now we get to the part where we're actually going to create and format our mail composed view controller. And I'm gonna type out some code and I'll come back and explain it. All right, so as you can see real quick, we're getting this error. Uh, it's because the view controller hasn't conformed to the delegate yet. Let's go ahead and do that because we're gonna come back to that later in the video. So uh, extension, let's scroll up here for, for your viewing. Extension, uh, view controller, and this is gonna conform to the MF, uh, mail compose view controller delegate as you see right there. Uh, and again, we'll come back to that in a bit, but uh, we wanna make sure we conform to that to get rid of this error. All right, so let's walk through this code again to, to see what we're doing here. So again, this is the function show mail composer. Uh, we're checking to make sure we can send mail. And now here we are creating our composer and it is an MF mail compose view controller. And if we option click into that to go to the uh, documentation, we're gonna see the properties that you can set uh, just for your, well, here's basically the whole tutorial if you wanna see where I'm getting all this information from. Uh, but here you can see the functions on here, set subject, set to recipient, CCs, BCC, message body, which we're gonna get to, you can add attachment. Uh, so as you can see, there's a number of stuff you can do here. So back to the code, we're just doing the typical stuff here. So like I said, we're uh, setting the mail compose delegate equal to self, that is this view controller, more on that later in the video. Uh, then you see we set two recipients and this takes an array uh, of strings because this is just who it's to. So if you wanted to mail it to multiple people, that's fine. But like I said, the example we're using is the support email. So this is going to support at seanallen.co. It's not a real email address. You can email it all you want. You're just going to get a return to you. Uh, then you see you set the subject. The subject is just going to be help. Uh, and then you can set a message body. You don't have to do this, um, but this will just pre-fill the email uh, to help out your users if there's a very common, you know, subject they want to do. You know, I love your videos, but help. And then you can designate if it's HTML. So you could pass in, you know, some formatted uh, HTML in your email if you'd like for that, but uh, this is just false. We're just gonna show a string. And then here we're presenting uh, the composer we created and it's uh, animated equals true. Now remember, you're gonna have to run this on your actual device. So I'll pull up a video of my phone here. So here we are, we have our UI, looks nice. I hit email support and it pops up. You can see the to address is support at seanallen.co. Uh, from email, you can see my old Yahoo email if you like old school stuff there. Subject is what we put in there. And then you see we uh, preset some existing text for them. Now they can change this, right? Like I can tap in there and edit it. You're, you're essentially in the mail app at this point. Uh, so you can edit however you like, uh, and then hit cancel, you know, delete draft, save draft. We're gonna delete that. Now you notice I hit cancel. 
and like I, I'm stuck in this mail controller. So this is where the delegate comes in, uh, so you need to dismiss it. So let's go do that. So down here on line 39, we're in our uh, delegate here. Uh, start typing did finish, and then it'll autocomplete. So you see it's, uh, you know, mail compose controller, you get a controller, did finish, you know, with result. And now result is the interesting thing here, because there's going to be, if we look into the documentation here, it's going to be four states, if you can see down here at the bottom, canceled, saved, sent, failed. So uh, it'll give you back a result to let you know what happened, and then you could handle all the errors accordingly. So I'm going to type this out, and then we're going to walk through the code. All right, so let's run through this real quick. Uh, so again, you're going to get back a result and an error potentially. The error can be nil. So we're checking to see if the error does exist. Uh, if it's not nil and it exists, uh, we're going to show an error alert and then dismiss the mail view controller. Let the user know uh, what happened. Uh, the error is going to have a description. And then again, you're going to get back a result. So it's just a switch statement. You're going to either get back canceled, failed, saved, or sent. And then you would handle this accordingly, however you're doing it in your app. In this, we're just going to print what happened. Because uh, again, I don't know the functionality of your app and what you need to do. Uh, but here's where you would handle the various uh, states of what happened there. And then we're going to dismiss the mail controller. So uh, now that we have all that, let's go ahead and run this. And we should see everything working fine. So here we are again, we got our email support button. Let's go ahead and tap that. The email pops up. And again, you see all our pre-filled stuff. If I tap cancel, uh, let's go ahead and delete draft. And now it dismissed. And you see in our uh, console here, it printed out cancel because that's what I did. So let's go ahead and hit email support again. It pops up, get some gibberish in the console. Uh, let's hit send. Okay, email sent. You see that printed out because again, it's going through uh, all these cases here. So that's going to wrap it up. That's how you let your users send an email without ever leaving your app. Uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you like what I'm doing here, consider subscribing. I put out Swift news every Monday and then a tutorial or two throughout the week. See you in the next one.